what is this? if we play red light, green light. When I say red light, you have to stop. He's like, I'm colorblind. I don't even, what's red and what's green? Let me repeat the rules. When I say red light, you gotta stop. Are you ready? Green light. Friends. Red light. Green it's light. It's fun to play with friends. Red light. Green light. To spend a day. Red light. Green light. Friends. Red light. Green no, light. We can't rely on friends. Red light. Green friends. light. Friends. Congratulations, friends. Gatsby. You beat red light, green light. Oh. <laughs> it's breakfast. Here you go. Today we are gonna make the breakfast from Squid Games. <gasps> the bento box? Yep, the bento box. Should be pretty simple. We need to make a perfectly round egg. I thought I'd try using one of these. I have a golden yolk eggs here. Ooh, bring me some butter. So we have some butter on the cloth. We're just gonna wipe it on the inside of the ring. Here we go. Move the yolk back to the center. That's the egg. I went and bought some because these take a little bit more time to make. Kimchi, which is like a spicy cabbage. And I got some like seasoned tiny fish. We have the black beans. Ta-da! We are done. I also got breakfast number two, a pastry and some milk. Hmm. It's time to eat. Egg, rice, and kimchi, it's really good. It does remind me very much of Korean food. Um, bibimbap, that has egg, rice, and kimchi in it. That golden yolk, it's so good. That for sure did not fill me up. Good thing we have our second breakfast for day two. Milk is supposed to make the bread taste better or the bread makes the milk taste better, we'll see. Got our bottle of milk. They didn't have chocolate milk. This one for sure I wouldn't be happy. I know what the next food is gonna be. But first, it's corgi time! Okay. We gotta try the tug of war technique. Here it goes. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. I won! Gatsby, it worked! It worked! So I thought I would go over the answer from last week's quiz 
on the different camera qualities because a lot of you guys were asking to do it. I actually wasn't going to give you the answer. In last week's question, I wanted to see if you could tell the difference between the camera quality from my iPhone, my small Canon camera, and my large Canon camera. If you guys don't remember, here is the footage again. So this is camera number one. Is this the iPhone, the small Canon camera, or the large Canon camera? Here is camera number two. Does this look better or worse than the previous one? And finally, number three. Can you tell if this one's the large one, the small one, or the iPhone? And which one looks the best? Okay, so I thought I would give you guys the answer now. A lot of you guys actually said that number one had the best picture quality. Well, number one is actually the iPhone 13 Pro. <laughs> what? Number two is the small Canon camera, the Canon G7X Mark II. That means number three is the large Canon camera, the Canon 6D Mark II. A lot of people really did think that the iPhone had the best picture quality. The iPhone also does not have a very good microphone in it. Also, the stabilization on an iPhone is nowhere near as good as using um, like a handheld camera. In the comments below, let me know if you got the answer correct. I wanna know, and I'm sure Apple is happy about that result. Here's the progress that I made on the puzzle so far. A lot of the balloons are taking shape. Here is the final picture over here. There are so many light pink balloons in the photo. It's gonna be hard for me to sort these out to be like, oh, this one goes for the balloon up here versus, you know, the other one. So far I spent five hours on the puzzle. I'm really excited for you guys to try it out. So, I will be releasing this puzzle along with our new calendar on November 1st. A lot of people were asking, and yes, I will be restocking the fruit fantasy puzzle as well. It's so satisfying just like finding the pieces and putting it together. Especially one with a smiling corgi. By the way, happy October everybody! Look at all of Gatsby's toys. They're all staring at him. He's like, what? Speaking of calendars, I thought I would give you guys another behind the scenes look into the calendar that we've been working on. This is another segment with Koki, the photographer from Japan who I flew over specifically for this calendar shoot. By the way, the calendar pictures turned out incredible. And along with that, I take Koki to the mall to experience what that's like. <laughs> Please enjoy and we'll see you guys afterwards. We made it to the Presidio main post. I've never been here. There's the Disney Museum right there. It's perfect weather. We're doing our centerfold photo right over here with kites. Yeah, Gatsby, what do you think? I never like spending much time at the beach. What are you gonna do Short with the these kite. up here? Oh, I fly them for fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> You're having more fun than Gatsby. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite one. That's massive. <laughs> I like this one. Look, look at the tail. It like so long. Even in high school, we were just like, oh, do you want to go to the park and fly guys? That's strange. Anyway. <laughs> I wonder what kind of people buy that. Like a pizza kite. I like the pizza kite. Look at that, so yummy. <laughs> you said it, your favorite was the whale. Then the snake, and then They're now you said it was a dragon. Now you say it's a dragon. Which is it? <laughs> We're done. We made it. <laughs> We're at the mall. Koki's like, this is such a big mall. We're in Gentle Monster. Can you tell what store what they're selling here? They sell sunglasses. <laughs> You need this glasses, $310. I look Korean. <laughs> you look so nerdy. <laughs> you need to try this one on. <laughs> nah. He says he wishes that there was Yankee Candle in Japan. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, be careful what you wish for. There's like a Yankee Candle in every mall in America. <laughs> Welcome back! More adventures with Koki coming soon, but first, we gotta take Gatsby out for a walk. Yeah! Crispy, yeah that boy Presby Had the tongue gleaming, yeah I know they can't miss me See a boy a mile 
the way my kicks is really head tink Looking like that meme, then them boys really spent tink I just put an ISO logo on a damn sweater vest I got little money watching power, give us our respect Damn, I be so fresh, and them boys be so clean too Had them looking mad hard, damn, I didn't mean to We yeah. made it back! It's time for us to do a fan shout out Thank you so much for tagging us and showing off all of our Corgi on Fleek merchandise. It really helps support the channel. Make sure to grab yours at CorgiOnFleek.com and when you do, make sure to tag us. If you haven't featured our fans in a while, thank you so much, you guys. Ooh. <laughs> and now, on with the vlog. So for dinner today, we are gonna be eating an opulent steak. The last time I tried making steak in the air fryer, it turned out so good. By the way, I will put the recipe link in the description below for how to do air fryer steak. So the first thing we needed to do is temper the steak, which means let it rest at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. Preheat the air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. We are going to add a little bit of oil just so that the seasoning will stick. I'm using this, which is just salt, pepper, and garlic. She said you want to make sure that you like press in. It took nine tries. I made nine of these. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be to make. <laughs> 400 degrees. Let's start it at 12 minutes. And we'll flip it at six minutes. I think it's done. We don't want it overcooked. We're gonna take some butter, put it on top. And then you just want to leave it there and let it rest. That pink paper said that we are going to be making a side of tomatoes as well as some asparagus. And I'm going to add our tomatoes. And then I'm just going to cover it so it cooks faster. Okay, I think it should be done. Yeah. Some salt. Ta da! So we got our steak and our vegetable side, which looks so little. But that's what it said in the pink card, so uh, I guess that's what we have to go with. Oh, it's like perfectly done. It looks pretty good. The steak doneness is about, I would say, a medium. Mmm. Tomato is good with steak too. So, I have a question for you guys. Have you guys seen Squid Game yet? If you did, what did you think? I don't like watching TV shows anymore because it just consumes my life. I was like, I can't stop watching it and nothing else got done for the whole weekend. Mm. He's like, where's my steak? There it is. Not steak, but it's food. He's like, oh, yum. Goes. Here it goes, sir. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got you. Mm. I hope you enjoyed our video. Make sure to check out our merchandise at corgionfleek.com. It really helps. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Look over there. Hehehehe <laughs>